Good evening and thank you for joining us. It's no secret there's an affordable housing crisis in Windsor, Essex and beyond. And a sure sign of that this week, a rental listing making the rounds on social media for a six bed, one bath unit with multiple beds crammed into a single room. Here's CTV's Rich Garten. There are more than 7,000 people in Windsor on the Central Housing Registry looking for affordable housing. But if you need proof of Windsor's affordable housing crunch, look no further than this listing on Facebook Marketplace. I think what we should call this is an exploitation of the housing crisis. You have a landlord who has clearly uh, taken advantage of this, the shortage of housing and specifically affordable housing uh, in our community. The rental listing advertises a six-bed, one-bathroom unit for $330 per month. What you see is multiple beds crammed into a single room. Visibly seeing mattresses on the floor and renting those out in that fashion, I think it falls below a standard that we should be accepting here. Ward 2 Councillor Fabio Costante points to the importance of the new residential rental licensing bylaw to curb such practices, calling on residents to call 311 when they see issues like this one. The RL is, is intended to address exactly this type of scenario where People are, or landlords are, uh, putting up beds uh, and uh, developing units within a home that are not up to building and fire code. It, it's about tenant safety. Costante says the issues are more prevalent in neighborhoods around St. Clair College and the University of Windsor, where student rentals are more readily available. He says it's nothing new, but with the influx of international students, the existing market pressures like inflation, interest rates, and supply shortage. You know, we are mired right now in a perfect storm. Both the college and university have resources online to help students find housing and know their rights. Are they receiving adequate housing when they come here? And that's an honest discussion that I think we need to have as a community. But Costante believes despite some new student residences coming online, more action is needed. But I do believe that the university and college have a moral uh, obligation to uh, to build more housing. They are, let, let's be clear, they are building some student dormitories, but I think they need to do much more. Rich Garten, CTV News.